Well, the first ever human-like robots are now available for purchase. They're being sold internationally from right here in the Rio Grande Valley. CBS 4 Sydney Hernandez got an exclusive look at how these robots are changing our world. So these are the first humanoid robots to arrive into the U.S. Turn off everything. Nano here is the first humanoid robot of its kind to be sold here in the United States. And he's right here in the Rio Grande Valley. It can go upstairs. It can walk. It can literally walk on two legs throughout your home. Uh, it has all the same sensors. Uh, AI library is huge. Ricardo Trevino is the founder of ProTech in McAllen, which coordinates with a company in China who builds the robots and sends them to the United States to be sold across the country from the valley. Play comforting sounds. Should I add a station for comfort and sound to your Pandora account? <laughs> No. So, so it'll do stuff like that. There's the Sandbot nanorobots are hand-picked by their owners and serve all different types of purposes tailored to your specific need. We have quite a bit of requests for people uh, wanting them to, I guess, clean their dishes and do the, you know, the normal housework that everybody wants to avoid. It can change a tire, deliver audio messages to people, and even charge itself. But aside from chores, these robots are also making advances in the workplace. As a business owner, you look for efficiency. So at a part-time job, minimum wage, minimum, you still have to pay someone 10000 per year. If I sell you one robot for 10000 that can last you seven years and never call in, do all the same tasks, who would you choose? They are even being FDA tested and are working with hospitals like DHR to help patients. Mainly for people that are incapacitated, uh, the disabled need, you know, ways to get around their home. And with these robots, we've eliminated the need for, you know, CNAs to be present, LVNs, which not to say that they're not needed, but it's a lot more helpful when a person can just be on their bed and control their helper through their phone. But it's not all work and no play. As you can see, it has your Alexa. It has an option to dance. So if your kids like lights, all that good stuff, sound, it does have a subwoofer installed and a tweeter, so you get really great sound out of it. These machines run from $800 all the way to over a million, depending on the model and what its main purpose is. Turn on everything. Okay. In McAllen, with Complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4 Valley, at 5. It's cool, but a little unnerving at the same time. The Protect Robots are partnering up with the UTRGV Robotics team and will be the first university in the country to train and work with a humanoid robot.